Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here today. My name is Jenna, and I want to welcome you to this face face. This is a safe space for all magical, mystical unicorns that believe in some crazy-ish, like me. What we're going to do today is find out a message from your guides on what magical, mystical-ish is coming into your life next. Power. Pile one will be choosing the power card. Very nice. Came out with a bang, so that's gonna be a powerful one. Pile two will be choosing wisdom. Wisdom pile two and pile three will be choosing change. Thunder moon change. All right, so let's get started. Pile one, what big spiritual glow up or spiritual gift or something what what is what magical mystical thing is coming into your life next pile one holy spirit please turn me into pile one's energy what gift and spiritual magical event is coming into your life i'm getting a lot of power in my third eye and my sacral chakra um, I'm getting, I'm getting like a, um, like a, um, a pulsation, a pulsating feeling in my, um, sacral, um, and my third eye as well. Light. Wow. Light activation. Your Kundalini is activating, but it's like, it's, um, um, you guys might even be like having to turn off the light or something. Cause like your third eye is, is, is in pain. Um, you could be going through massive headaches, migraines. Um, your next gift psychically speaking, is being able to see timelines better. The, 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 the alternate timeline that you want, the neighboring timeline that's very close to this one until you get closer and closer and closer to the one that you actually want. It's like you're going to be seeing these micro jumps between this timeline and the timeline next to it and next to it and next to it, getting you to, to the end goal, the end result, whatever you want. Wow. Wow. Also, I'm hearing your, your divine truth, your divine essence is that you are bringing in a lot more of your shadow. What you want has been hidden in the shadow. It's been hidden in that, that part of you that everybody said was taboo or, or off, off limits. What you really want is there, that, that crucial uh, visceral feeling. That feeling, that feeling. Yeah, what I'm getting is um, a very carnal energy here for pile one. Like, I want it, I get it. Wow, the power in that. The universe is hearing you speak. This is a very powerful gift. It's the way that you're speaking to the universe. The universe is listening to you. And there is nothing that can stop it. Nothing that will stop it, period. God, I hope. Oh, sacral chakra, girl. Poor guy. What the, oh, wow. Authority, you can't make it up. I said your sacral, your sacral, where, where the desire is, the, the, whoo, the authority, the authority though, you are commanding the universe to do what you want. You are telling the universe, I want this, that's it, I'm going to get it. The, the sacral is where we hold our desires, our wants, our needs, our, 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 like, um, Yeah. You might want to try carnelian. Carnelian's really great for the sacral chakra. Carnelian crystal. Yeah, you're like, you're really okay with wanting what you want now. Good, bad, or otherwise. We have triumph here. So it's like you really are, that's the chariot. You really are moving forward with your, with your, um, with your what? With your what? Trapped in fear. The, the parts of you, your shadow, the parts of you that were trapped, you were afraid to express that you wanted something. I hear your sexuality, your Lilith energy, your, like if you want to eat a cheeseburger, eat a damn cheeseburger. You know, if you want to be vegan, be vegan. Eat, have a shot. I don't, do whatever you want. Look at this power on the bottom of the deck. Rich, you cannot make it up. Power, power, new beginnings. It's almost like I want what I want and there is no one going to stop me. Wow, 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 wow. We have positive movement forward and the um, three of pentacles, I think this is. Mm. 
You might, have, you might have been alone for a really long time because you were afraid of other powerful people or you were afraid that people would see your power as too much, but you're bringing in really powerful people now. Five of Pentacles, they don't actually live in lack at all. They don't ever live in lack. They know that they can get whatever they want in the universe too. You're bringing in very powerful people. What's your next psychic gift, please? File one, tower, disruption, the light. Ace of Swords, it's the way you speak. Your speech is now a frequency. When you channel or when you speak now, your um, whatever frequency there is, even if it's 5G, okay? That's like a frequency, but your frequency is higher than the 5G. So now if you were to speak, it's above that. It would actually break through um, a lot of these um, like grids, these, these like power grids or these, uh, um, what, what keeps people trapped what, peop what keeps people trapped mentally and in their own head, in their own frequency. You are a disruption to the plan of the, the powers that be because you have your frequency, your light language, your, the way you speak. It's so much more high frequency. There's so much more of a, um, a potency to it that it overrides any other frequency on the planet because it's made of love. It's the highest frequency of all. Your, your throat tracker is so healed that when you speak to the universe, it now hears you. It was hearing you all along, but if you have a throat chakra that's, you're, you're still using, even though it's not healed. Like with me, when I was in the dark night of the soul, like my, 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 my strongest, um, my strongest chakra now is my throat chakra. It's what I use for business. It's what I use to support myself. But, but in the dark night of the soul, it was my weakest in that I went through like a whole bunch of really horrendous things like strep throat, th thyroid issues, like all that, right? And so now I'm seeing that your throat chakra is healed and because it's so healed, you are bringing light into the grid system. It's the weirdest message I'm getting. There's already a grid system here on earth, I guess. I don't know much about it, but what I'm seeing is if there is a grid system, which I think we all are, are, are in agreement, they do something, they, they mess with something, right? You now in speaking, it's almost like it, it bypasses that grid and it brings people to a higher frequency than that. It tops that, the 5G, 6G, 7G, whatever, you're higher than that. Wow, it's your speech. And it's the way that you command, I heard an audience, you could com command an audience, but it's the way that you um, now tell the universe, I want what I want, it comes so quickly now. Ace of Wands. It's so fast. It happens so fast. Your high priestess power is where it's at, okay? Um, it's you talking to the universe better. Wow. Guys, it's so powerful that I'm literally losing battery on my phone. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you go. But um, what a reading. Oh my gosh. What a gift, what a gift. It's gonna be your speech soon and it's gonna be the way you manifest using speech. I wouldn't even write shit down, I would just say it. I would just say it out loud. A few times, believe it, boom, that's it. That's it. It's that fast, like the same day. Wow, incredible guys. I love you. If you want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. I will talk to you later guys, bye-bye. Hello everyone, those are the shows the Black Tourmaline and the Wisdom card. This is gonna be your reading for what spiritual changes are coming in next, okay? Um, I, I feel, uh, I'm at my last, I'm, I'm, I'm on my last um, incense stick here. <laughs> I went to go find more. I thought I had more. I thought I had a shit ton of incense in my house and I don't. I almost feel like a spiritual gift that you're gonna be experiencing soon is being able to replenish things with just thinking it in your mind. Um, for instance, I've had face wash for two years and that shit just keeps refilling itself. Expensive face wash. I don't ever, ever, ever have to pay for more face wash ever. It's something like that. Um, you're learning somehow, oh wow, in the card. Okay, you're learning somehow how to take nothing and make it into something. This is more than manifestation. This is um, a gift at seeing. This is seeing something full. Yeah, like I'm hearing glass more than half full, more than half full with the full, with the whatever kind of moon this is, a waning gibbous moon. Hmm. It's
it's like you're gonna be able to see something either that you lost you're gonna see it in your hand and you're gonna be able to envision it right there in your hand and that's how you're manifesting it which yes is manifestation but it, it's something about like your, your clairvoyancy I'm getting um, you're gonna really feel into it you're gonna feel what it would feel like to have a full face wash <laughs> or um, more incense or whatever you want like you're gonna be able to feel that and tune into it you guys you might be able to manifest Something about it's gonna it's gonna shift very quickly for you. Like the next day you wake up and you see that you shifted timelines. An example, when everybody was complaining about egg prices, I'm like, stop, stop talking about that shit. And then I just went to go buy eggs and it's like it was a it was like a dollar ninety nine for eighteen eggs, right? And then there was a fifty cent coupon. So it was a dollar fifty for eighteen eggs. I've never even before the whole thing with the eggs, I, the eggs were never that cheap ever for me. So it's something about, you're gonna be able to much more often, almost like with Taurus energy here, I'm getting the four of, I'm getting like a, a brute. You're gonna be very, you're not gonna waver is what I'm trying to say, which is why you're gonna get your manifestations better and faster. You're not gonna waver. There's not this like, oh, but like it might happen though and it might not. And, and that's why we don't get our manifestations, guys. Your gift is being able to see something and, and stay seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm hearing you'll never lose something. Again, you'll never be able to lose, not, not an item. Not, that, that's not what I'm getting. You'll never be able to have something taken from you again because you realize that you are the one giving it to you in the first place, so you will always have that thing, that, that person, that place, that whatever. Um, you're, you're basically losing the concept of loss, that you can lose a manifestation. You can't, you're the one manifesting it. The only one that can really uh, remove it from you is you and your wavering thoughts. Wow. All right, so something about the moon here. I'm getting like maybe on the next waning gibbous moon or, or the next full moon or something, you're gonna have a really potent uh, time manifesting something, okay? So be very careful with your thoughts around the full moon or around whatever next moon cycle is coming in. Very careful, because you're gonna be able to manifest stuff very quickly around that time, all right? I don't know if that's around the 22nd of the month or something. Number two, yeah, I'm getting two, two, two. So be very careful with your thoughts around um, the next moon cycle because it's, wow, you're gonna like really attract a lot of things. Oh. Um, your next spiritual gift, your next spiritual gift for pile two. How did I not even notice pile two is 22 here? The hermit, ooh. Mmm, mmm. The star. I'm hearing the, the, the hermit finally found the star within. The hermit finally found the star within. Wow. I'm hearing you're clothed in righteousness. <whistles> Guys, what in the heckaroni? What is this? You could be an Aquarius rising or a Virgo rising or like a Virgo or Aquarius north node. What's coming in for you? New spiritual gift. You already heard. I heard you're gonna be very uh, adept, ad adept at changing people's minds about also going within. Something about the star here, you're gonna naturally radiate this like, hey guys, look, it's fun. Like, like, like hermit mode is actually kind of fun. Like enjoy solitude, cause that shit's fun. When a lot of people don't like that, you know, a lot of extroverts probably don't like to be introverted, but it's something about you're gonna teach people. Like, look guys, it's fun. Look at me. <laughs> look at me, I'm the hermit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think people maybe even made fun of you in the past for being a loner or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Um, you're also kind of breaking the mold when it comes to what people think about this spiritual journey. Give me more on that. Oh my God, you can't make it up. You cannot. With the traditional values of the higher font, you're breaking the mold. People are looking to pile two for wisdom. It makes sense. Wisdom, the hermit, the star, the hierophant. Three majors right out the gate and they're all some sort of spiritual enlightened guru. Wow, guys. 
I don't, I don't care. Like, I feel like somebody, I need to say, like, if you don't like the word guru, if you don't like that you're a spiritual leader, I don't care. Get the fuck over it. Get the fuck over it because that's what you are here to do. You are here to teach, lead, and inspire. Mainly about boundaries. I feel like for some of you, it's a headache. Wow. You can't make it up. The Queen of Swords. It's about boundaries, I think. That you teach people about boundaries, personal space, um, enlightenment. All of a sudden now, I got this third eye. Like, like a headache. I got a headache right now. My third eye, right? Um, I think that you tried to do this in the past and it was a headache, it was a migraine and you don't want to do it anymore but Spirit's telling me tough shit <laughs> oh well that is, that is what I'm hearing, look at that temperance, tough shit, you're an earth angel, tough shit we need you, tough shit, you signed up for this <laughs> whether you love it or not, I don't give a shit oh honey whooping your ass into shape today look at that you, yeah, I heard you've been in rest mode long enough. Now it's time. It's time to broadcast your skills, your talents, right? What spiritual gifts are coming in then? You already have them all. I feel like you already have like everything. You have everything you need. Okay? You have everything you need. And very soon you're about to get everything you want. But you have to do this. It's like, I, I almost feel like your guides are like, we're not arguing with you. We're not, we're not asking. Mm-hmm. You have very powerful spirit guides and ancestors. We're like, we're not asking. I think you think it's cute. We're not asking. We're telling. Your higher self is like, we're not asking. We're, we're telling you. <laughs> it's time. It's time. You have star seed here with the temperance card and the higher font. Like, it's time. You have been in hermit mode long enough. It's over. If you don't want it, I, I don't care. And I highly doubt your spirit team cares. <laughs> They're like, I don't care. Your soul wanted this. Um, what else is coming in? What psychic gifts? King of Pentacles. I feel like right now you guys are getting a lot of Taurus energy, Taurian energy. Like a brute. You're kind of a brute energetically right now. Like you can't be moved. Like like even your spirit team is like, come on, come on. But it's, it's almost like I dare you to move me. I dare you to try it. Um... Hmm. <laughs> King of Swords, you can't make that shit up. I dare you to try it. I dare you to come at me. I want to do what I want to do and that's it. But your spirit team is saying a gift coming in for you is this readiness to fight again. This readiness to get yourself back out there. To put yourself back in the game as the Emperor, bitch. Yes. Love it. Love it. You go from King of Pentacles, King of Swords to the Emperor with the high priestess look it's something about your teaching you are going to teach people you're teaching you are a teacher you are here to teach enlighten guide activate and motivate and inspire get your shit right get your shit right <laughs> wow you know what else i'm hearing though you're going to be given a gift in that it's like an i don't give a fuck attitude it's like the same kind of brute mentality you have about not doing your job it's the same brute mentality you're about to get about doing your job like no one will be able to shake you in fact you might have a lot of taurus in your chart okay i'm just getting like a very like bull kind of energy like like just a bull like you're not gonna be moved it's like when you make up your mind you're not moved you are solid you're like if if, if you were not wanting to do this you were rock solid in that but now that you want to do it you're rock solid in that. That's going to be your gift coming in. Getting back out there, putting yourself back out there after a very long period of hermit mode is what I'm getting. Years. I heard years. A decade, maybe even. Decades? Yeah, that's a yes. Um, give me more here on a psychic gift coming in or something. The lovers. Again, this is a choice. This is a choice that needs to be made, but it's being made by you. About you. For you to help you defeat you and your mind and your ego. You are choosing to embody your higher self. Yeah. What's the lovers? Is this, is this a person too? Come on, that'd be nice. We are, you know, the number two with two, two here, nine of pentacles. I feel like, I feel like the gift coming in for you is that you don't care about any 11 11 on the clock listen you don't care about needing someone else you don't need anyone else you need you 
this is your gift. This is your gift. You're done looking at it like, oh, I need someone externally to save me. You're like, no, I save me and then I go and help other people save themselves. This is, this is really, this is profound. This is like giving me going into the Hunger Games as Katniss. Like, this is like, I want it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to crush it. And then everybody can just like shut up about it. <laughs> like, like I, there's something so like, you don't want the glory of it. You don't want the glory. You don't want the fame. You don't want the recognition. But pile two, spirit is telling me that you're going to get that. And it's like, God, it's almost like, no, I like being a hermit for a reason. Four of swords, the hermit. I like this for a reason. I don't want to be known, but it's like, okay. And what's your point? <laughs> your guys are fucking ruthless, bro. You know what? The reason that you have these intense spirit guides is because you're such an intense, powerful energy. You need people like this to whoop your ass into shape, period. They're intense. They're not letting you live this down. They're not letting you stop. Like, oh God, I feel like to me, you're like, I don't wanna be known. I just want to, I just want to like sleep all day and meditate and like be with my crystals and my puppy. I don't want that. I don't want that life. But you're about to be a spiritual guru who's very well known in the, fucking really well known in the community. Okay. I'm hearing, yeah. I mean, I'm hearing maybe not to tell you. You're like ace of swords in reverse. Can you make it up? No. I'm hearing not to tell you because it would deter you and it would make you be like, no, no, please. No. I was literally told, shut up, don't tell them. And there's Ace of Swords in reverse. Shut up, don't tell them. Eight of, look, don't tell them. This is a card of communication. Like, shut up, Jenna. You're gonna scare them away. We really want Pile 2 to fight for the light. You're gonna scare them off. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can't be scared. Nah, you, 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 you aren't scared of shit. That's what I'm getting, Pile 2. You ain't scared. I'm hearing, I ain't scared. I am scared. You are not scared of anything. You're not scared of anything. What is it about fame that freaks you out though? Because, and then you have the hangman. We have all these enlightener cards. We have, we have the temperance, the hangman, justice. We have the hermit. We have hierophant and we have the star with the wisdom card. Are you fucking kidding? You're sitting on a wealth of knowledge and you don't want to help the collective. Okay, that shit's on you, bro. That karma's on you. Like sorry sorry the world's on fire and we need firefighters like figure out your shit and your guides are like figure out your shit we don't care we don't care you were born for this you were you were raised for this you were what i heard raised and then i heard religion some of you could have been born in religion or something you could be talking about religion and anti-religion or something with the books here I heard tale as old, tale as old as time, beauty and the beast. Okay, I don't know why I heard that, but I was looking at this, this, um, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, sand clock. No, it's one of those things that you turn upside down with the sand in it. You can see it, you can see it in the stars, right? It's like you can see time, you see time differently. That's why. No shit. You're gonna teach people how you see time differently. Tale as old as time. Oh my God. Okay, makes sense now. I get it. Tale as old as time. Beauty and the beast. The emperor. Some about a divine counterpart maybe for this one. Beauty and the beast, 22. Divine soulmates. I'm getting the infinity sign. Past lives with your twin. That could be like a thing, man. That could be like a thing that you talk about, the higher font here. Oh my God, dude, dude. It's like, it's like infinity. Like um, time doesn't exist. It's, it's an illusion, right? That's why you can fill up your, your shampoo bottle. <laughs> or or um, you can find things that you've hacked the matrix. You figured out the matrix. You know how to do it. You know that there is no spoon. I wrote, a, I wrote a status post today. There is no spoon, Neo, but there sure as shit is a fucking fork. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really just, I don't know. I thought it was funny. Anyway, after I say it, I'm like, wow, it really wasn't so funny, was it? Mm. Any 
two, what I am getting here for pile two is that you're gonna be breaking uh, the system itself, the matrix itself, and then you're gonna help other people do the same thing. So cool. We have the zebra here. Something about like, you stand out like a sore thumb and I think that's why you were a little bit afraid. You were a little afraid to do this, but you are so balanced with your light and shadow that it's like, it's time. Get with the fucking program. Like you have to do it. You have to, there's no choice. It's like you don't even have a choice because your soul wanted it. You already made the choice. That's why you incarnated, you understand? Cheetah, time to get going, time to get going. Very quickly, very quickly. It's like, it's here now. I feel like some of you at 17 minutes is the star card for me. Again, I'm getting like, some of you don't wanna be famous. You don't wanna be known for this. You're like, God damn, this is just hurting my fucking head. We have the third eye here. It's like, it is so, it's, it's painful. Okay, it's painful to be around other energies that aren't you. You see there's, the cheetah was heading towards the zebra, right? Which we all know that's a disaster waiting to happen. But there's something about these spots here. They're not stripes, they're spots. What's that? People who look different, not look different, visually, energetically, you're gonna see that, you see how this cheetah is only on his first two, two legs? You're about to see people who are not kind, not friendly, not, not at all, I'm an ally. But it's as if you're gonna be seeing this, spotting this, and helping others discover their enemies but they're only on two legs. So these people aren't really as fast or as smart or as um, bold even. They're not real, they're, they ain't shit. Like these people are so in their ego, their ego ain't shit. And you're gonna be somehow exposing this to a group of zebras who are just like you, but need to be protected, okay? Give me more on the cheetah energy here. Eight of swords. Yeah, these people really do live in fear and anxiety and, 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 and it's like, it's like, you're gonna be helping zebras realize their fear is unwarranted. It's, it's not even real, it's all an illusion. Fear is an illusion, so is time. And if fear and time are an illusion, then what the fuck is real? Exactly, exactly. You're gonna be showing these people nothing is. That's why the mind can be bent in such a way that you can really create your own reality using it. Girl, this one's deep. Okay, with a strength. I heard tale as old as time again. Beauty and the Beast. Here it is. Beauty and the Beast. And the lovers. You might be doing with your... This might be you and your twin flame doing this. Um, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. So it could be same sex for some of you. But anyway, yeah, wow. Cool reading. I'm here for this. This is great. It's like if, if this isn't real, then what is real? Exactly. 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 So like I can have anything then? Exactly. It's all a glitch. It's all zeros and ones in a computer program. You want a bajillion dollars? Cool. It's a fucking number. It is a, it is a glitch in the system. That's it. You want magic? Be about it, pile two. Your guys are like, come on. Wake up. It's not that you're not awake. See, that's what I'm getting. You, you've been awake. You've been awakened for a minute. It's not that. It's that I don't know what the fuck your problem is, to be honest. Eight of Cups. You have to walk away from an old lifestyle. You have to walk away from like a group, a community or something. I'm not sure. You have to walk away from a lot of things. Who wants to do that? Very rarely do we ever want to do that. The devil. You got to walk away from some toxic bullshit that you got. Your own ego here. Your own ego. I'm sorry, I didn't make the rules. You gotta do it. And it's like, it is what it is. It's time to go. Your ego wants life a certain way, but your higher self wants it a different way. You don't even really have a choice. You don't, you don't. And look, Spirit's telling me I chose pile two as well. I know, I'm gonna have to choose this one. Or did this one choose me? Did you choose it? Or did someone choose it for you? Do you have free will? Or do you not? I don't know, there's a whole bunch of philosophical questions happening here. You guys are very wise and you're about to help teach people in a way that has never been taught before. You are here to create new earth. You are here to help others shift into the new earth paradigm. 
I, I understand you have to leave your comfort zone. I get that. I get that. It sucks, doesn't it? Yes. But there's fun things to be had too. I'm hearing like what? I just heard that. Like what? The Hierophant. Well, I don't know. I have to be honest. Being a higher font sometimes sucks, but, but being a higher font, having fun, you know, cause everybody is used to a higher font being stuffy and, and, you know, philosophy being boring and, you know, religion being stuffy and you know what I mean? Uptight and rigid. That's not who you are. And I'm hearing one of the gifts is you not giving a shit is because you're about to make higher font, higher fancy not a word you're about to make it really fun that's why people are really glued into you because you just don't give a shit you're like this is how you break the matrix are you finished yet can i go now it's almost like you know what's so funny i'm getting i'm getting a lot of aries energy and that this is how we are we're like we'll let everybody else try to solve the problem and if we get angry enough and we we have to be patient enough which we don't love to be we're like, fuck this. I'm going to handle it. And when I'm done handling it, I will be handling you. It's like you see that nobody's taking control of problems in the world. And so pile two, you are. And it's almost like there's this chip on your shoulder because you're like, I don't want to do this. And the fact that I have to makes me hella pissed. And uh, you're on my shit list. Okay? So it's almost like there's this... Um, funny comedian style like energy I'm channeling right now. I, I think it's funny. I mean, I, shit, I don't know. Do you think it's funny? Like, I give a fuck. I think it's funny. But you're going to have this like chip on your shoulder and it's kind of funny because it's like you're very impatient or something. You're almost like, I don't want to be here. Yes, you are the creator of your reality. Can I go home now? Oh my God, Wheel of Fortune. It's going to change your fate. Okay, it's funny. It's funny. I, whatever you're doing, it's hilarious. People really do love it. Okay. People need it. People need like a breath of fresh air in the Hierophant community. You know what I mean? It's just so stuffy. And, and the world sees religion and spirituality and mysticism. And they, they, they have this preconceived notion. And you're going to be showing them a completely different fucking way of doing things. Because you are already part of the new earth. You have to go to the old earth and help people bring in the new earth into their old earth. Does that make sense? All right, I'm gonna leave it there, I think, for you guys. Any other message? Hmm. Mm -mm. No, I feel like you guys are so fed up. Can you make it up? Ten of swords in reverse. No, you can't. You're like, God, do I have to do this again? It's like, it's like it gives me, okay, have you ever seen the Hunger Games when they had to go back in the second time and that one girl was on stage and she's like, fuck this. Fuck this and fuck you. I already made it through the fucking Hunger Games. I don't want to have to do this shit again. That's, that's what I'm getting. You guys have to go back out into the real world after being in the clouds for a long time, yeah? You were up there making a beautiful, beautiful world for yourself, right? And now you have to come down and see it from below. It's like you're looking at your heaven that you created from below. But I am hearing heaven is coming to earth when you do. So technically speaking, you don't have to really see it from a different vantage viewpoint. You just have to, well, accept that it's already here as the version you wanted it to be. Ooh, so deep. Wow, this one is so great. My favorite. I love it. I mean, not really because this one I chose. I don't love it, but I will love it. And I'm hearing you, your guides say you will love it. You will love it soon. Okay. Why? Can you give us like something here about why we might love this? The star. You might actually like stardom. You might actually like being a star of the darkness. You may actually like it. You never know. The hermit, again, no way on the split. You might, you know what I, you know what it is? A gift. You're gonna love being the star because you don't have to be the star all the time. You can go back into hermit mode and you're not gonna wanna be the hermit all the time. You're gonna wanna shine. It's a balancing act. 
it's a balancing act. Look at these four majors. It's a big, big shift for pile two right now. Like, like this is life changing. Where you're at right now as you watch this reading, it's life changing, a pivotal moment for you. And what I'm getting is, the reason that you're gonna like it is because nobody's forcing you to be a star and no one's forcing you to be a hermit. You can be a hermit if you wanna be and a star shining bright if you wanna be. You can be whatever you want. That's why you're gonna like it because there's freedom. You know, if you are out and about really loud and proud for days and days and days at a time and you need rest, you're going to give yourself that rest and there's no guilt about it or shame or anything. Also, I am hearing financially, you'll be able to take time off work too. You're going to be able to take time off work or take time off whatever it is you're doing to, to rest and you're going to have money to do so. Can I get one more here? I need a little bit more <laughs> about getting us off our ass to do this, right? Ace of Swords. What's that? King of, oh, that was, that was word about the Wheel of Fortune. That's clarity, yeah. You're going to be very wealthy soon. Yeah. It was just double confirmation. You guys are going to have money. You're going to have money to be able to take off time, okay? Take, take time off work um, and relax and rest and rejuvenate. And then when you're done, right, letting go of all the burdens, when you're done in hermit mode, you get to go back out and, and shine again until you're fatigued and burned out and then you go back in there. You see, that's the difference. You didn't have that balance before, okay? You didn't have that balance before. I think people just forced you to be a star for what you knew before. Like you were always somebody something, always their everything, right? And so what you did is you went to the opposite end of the spectrum and just became a hermit and nothing really came of it in your 3D reality because you weren't investing into the universe, you were investing into you. And so now there's this very fine balance here in about to present yourself to the world and that's your investment towards god that's your investment towards the divine and in doing so well it's about to change your fortune i actually buy a, a, a land a landslide like a big 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 amount big amount i'm not sure how but it's gonna it's gonna change your money okay um anyway i'm gonna leave it there this was the longest reading ever i didn't need to go this long um, <laughs> story of my life. Spirit just told me you didn't need to go this long in hermit mode either, but yet you did that, Jenna. So anyway, guys, I get it. You were in hermit mode a little too long. It's time to, it's time to go out and, you know, into the sunlight, guys. It's time to pretend that people exist again. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh my God. Hi pile. Hi pile three. I didn't even realize I had toothpaste on my face. That entire reading. I had toothpaste right here. Didn't even know it until I looked at the viewfinder again. And I'm like, wait, wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck. And that was a whole 30-minute reading, too. Ah, oh, man. Well, at least I heard the message. Everybody else will click off because of cringiness. But, yeah, um, wow. I, I got the message. I got the memo. Um, anyway, here we go. Pile 3. Carnelian, you chose the change card. <laughs> Which is so funny because I had to, like, change everything about my energy after that. I'm like, oh, fuck. Damn it. Did I really have toothpaste? On my face, I did. I did. I didn't even look at the viewfinder once. How? How? The whole reading was about being a star. The whole reading was... <laughs> Bro, the whole reading was about putting yourself out... Oh my god. Poor pile two. They're probably like, see Jenna, that's exactly why I don't want to do it. You see? You see? Oh my god, that's fucking sad. I can't believe that happened to me. It's embarrassing. I was already trying to motivate Pile 2 to be a spiritual leader. Uh, I don't think the toothpaste help matters. Pile 3. What change is on the horizon for Pile 3? Petit po petit po. Let us see. Wow, all of a sudden I feel te uh, teleported. I almost feel like um, like one of your gifts coming in is like you can help move people's energy around. You can almost protect somebody's energy and their aura from a very far distance, remote, remotely, right? But but oh, um, there's something more than that. It's like you're almost communicating people, not just telepathy, you're almost communicating with people 
in a different realm. Like in the 4D or the astral plane, it's like your astral body and their astral body is meeting up, but it's not even during sleep. This is like just during the day. What am I doing? Just like during the day when you're awake, like your astral body and their astral body are together. Okay, what's, what's happening here? What's happening? I felt like such a light energy, like... You're healing people's pain body, okay? By moving your astral body to their emotional body. This is fucking true. Girl, I don't know much about these things. I don't know, but this is what I'm hearing. You're, you're, you're moving your astral body to somebody's pain body and removing it by highlighting their emotional body, which needs some sort of healing. The fuck? Oh my god, wait, 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 guys, this is so crazy. This is so crazy. Death. You're about, you're about to end people's pain and suffering soon. I also heard if some of you work for, um, like a nursing home or hospice or something, you're going to be able to help cross people over. Some of you are mediums and you've already done this. You already did this. You already helped them reach the other side. Okay. Or animals, something like that. Um, that's a gift that's being highlighted and, um, wow, it's super exciting because it's going to be confirmed for you in some way. Like somebody might mention that person's name the next day or something. Somehow it's going to be confirmed for you that you helped cross over a loved one. Okay. You're healing someone. You, you are, no joke, a psychic medium, but there, it's more than that. You're a shaman as well, and it's almost like you can heal the dead in a way. What? Heal the dead. Heal people that are on the other side that are still somehow attached to the material plane. They're still somehow attached to earthly things or something. Or people. I'm getting like a scythe. Like, like a, a, what is this? Not a scythe. What is that called? I don't know what that is, that thing. It's like you're, you're cutting cords. For ancestors, but not only your ancestors, others as well, so that they can go to higher planes of existence. Oh, I just got a download, guys. No. Oh my God. I'm going to need you to clarify how the fuck to say that because that download was so profound and it happened in two seconds. I feel like you guys actually might be getting downloads as your gift very soon. Okay, more downloads, more aha moments, right? Like an entire, you know something, an entire thing in, in, in just like that. It's almost, it was so big. I don't even know how to explain what I saw. You were used, you were somehow a psychic already used for a wave of people that needed all their spirit guides and ancestors for a certain path. But the collective already graduated from that. So now an entire new spirit team is entering the force and you are the one cutting the cords from the old force so they can go where they deserve to be because they did so much. They pay off so much karmic debt in helping their, their kids or grandkids or whatever. You are such a big fucking deal. Like you're the, I heard you're the cleanup crew. I'm seeing a vulture in my mind's eye. You're the vulture. You're the one that goes in cleans up death oh my god you clean up death right but 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 not in the way that you think not in the way that you know most most see death you 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 are helping people bring in a new spirit team because they're ready for a new something new my nose is fucking itching and it only ever itches when i'm a channel channeling for a channel so you are definitely a, a divine channel okay but there's something about you were, you were a psychic already, you know, you were already doing your, your job, whatever you were supposed to do for the last, who knows how long, right? But now you're being asked to shift gears with your psychic gifts and abilities. And even maybe monetarily, like the way you get paid for being a gifted shaman or healer, that might be changing soon for you. 
because what I'm getting is your gifts and talents have they're the same they're the same they've been honed in a little bit they've been they've been honed right you're better but you're the cleanup crew you're cutting cords between spirit guides and ancestors on the other side who were assisting the evolution of humanity up to this point but now because humanity is on some sort of brink there's like a big change coming in a lot of us are getting new spirit guides ancestors like a ton of us are getting new new guides i guess which i hadn't channeled that message yet until today um right now but you're somehow going to be severing these cords between these spirit guides and these earth angels oh my god you're helping the earth angels you are so gifted that you are healing the healers and 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 removing cords from those who also do cord cutting like like this is okay you're so gifted and so talented and so um professional that you're actually not only have you graduated already, but you're going to be helping the graduates go into the workforce. Does that make sense? I hope this makes this will make sense to somebody. Like, you have no idea how powerful you are in the spirit world that they're asking this of you. Like, you're removing cords of attachment between ancestors and spirit guides on the other side and earth angels that needed their guidance all this time. You're here to help transition the dead. They're not really dead. And we all know that as psychics. They're not really dead. You're here to help transition those on the other side. So if they have, you know, you cut cords, these people will never see them again. They'll never need to. They won't rely on these spirit guides or these ancestors anymore. They won't need to um, because the ancestors paid off karmic debt by helping assist them, helping humanity. Now you're setting these, these deceased people free, getting them to a higher vibration. The only reason their vibration was as low as it has been for years and years and decades is because they needed to be tethered, bound to earth angels to be their source of comfort and guidance and wow. Wow, so you're so powerful as a spirit guide that you are now guiding spirit guides home. Not even guiding, just cutting the tethers, just cutting the earthbound spirits, letting them go. The only reason they're earthbound is because they're bound to somebody who's on earth. That's it. Not because they're attached to anything negatively, but they're attached in a way that, um, so that they could help earth angels. These are sacrificial lambs. These are, these are people, souls, ancestors, like grandpas and grandmas of earth angels. Oh my, I've never had a channeled message like this is insane in the membrane. This one's crazy though. You're gonna, they need to go to a way higher vibration now, okay? These ancestors. So they're coming to you so that you can release these cords of attachment. Some of these earth angels, yeah, yeah, what I'm hearing is the reason that the earth angels can't do it themselves is one, because they might not know. They might not know that there's a shift and changing of the guards. They might not be aware. But secondly, they are so attached to these ancestors or spirit guides and they've gotten so used to having them and being able to call on them and stuff that, you know, there's an attachment there. So you not having an attachment to these people are gonna be able to go in and snip, snip, Remove the cords, let the ancestors go to a higher plane of existence. And then in the meantime, earth angels get to bring in a new spirit team because they ascend as well. Although let me get more on that because Knight of Cups. Yeah, new ones come in, I'm hearing. New ones come in so that they can get, uh, they can ascend more and more and more. You're the cleanup crew. You're the one that's uh, almost like canceling old contracts for Earth Angels. The ones that are here to do good. Healing the healers, there it is. The Empress and the Ace of Swords. Real, true, divine um, people. Like, yeah. 
some of them they don't want to let go is the problem and that's why you you have like a very uh, um you're almost like so nurturing in saying like i know honey i know but we have to we have to let them go i mean eventually you know you're gonna want your grandma or grandpa to go to the the frequency that they created for themselves and burning off karma judgment you're gonna want them on judgment day to go where the fuck they belong don't you think look i mean a lot of us earth angels are look at this the devil in reverse a lot of us earth angels keep sending people who are really hella toxic to a place they deserve to be in our mind we keep saying nope get away from me nope get away from me go to wherever you deserve to be but don't you think that that's also how it should be for the ones that helped us as well this is like totally different than pile two because pile two was going to do this like publicly out loud not this they're not doing this they're doing something completely different but you yours is a lot more quiet a lot more under the radar a lot more like important people come to you you're not like broadcasting this this is very hermit mode this is this is like quiet under the radar just kind of hush hush like your guides are bringing important people to you their guides and your guides are working together to bring these people to you yeah so that you can you can do this work you can do this work for these people mm -hmm. the higher font yeah they come to you you're a leader like you are a real you're like a real one okay shit the people i'm reading for anymore my god you guys blow my mind like i mean i was reading cards before but now i'm reading cards that's what i'm hearing for you guys you were doing this before you were cutting cords but now you're cutting cords and you know what i heard the intention is different now that's why it's gonna be more fun for you or it's gonna be more enjoyable it's gonna be better life because before when you would remove cords of attachment for people that were bound to the devil it was always like them running from narcissists or insane people now you're working you were always working for the light but now you're working for soul evolution like like you're gonna have more enjoyment knowing that people are ascending because of what you're doing it's like before you were actually booting people to a different timeline in which it's kind of hell on earth because they didn't do their work right and they're narcissistic and you know what i mean they're hurting god's people. you know you know now it's as if the intention is changing instead of i'm gonna work on my client remove cords of attachment so that her narcissistic uh convict uh husband will leave her alone it's not like that now now it's i'm gonna work on my client because she has a new spirit team coming in and the old team needs to go to heaven like they need to leave they need to leave this place they don't deserve to see all this they don't deserve to even see anything but love and happiness all the time not hell on earth not not spiritual warfare they don't deserve that anymore wow look look i'm reading cards with a brand new set intention that's why this is the most profound experience of my life because this reading today it's kind of like changing things for me um as a psychic like because my intentions have changed my intentions are i'm gonna be out loud bold who i am and I'm going to only be healing healers and leading leaders. Those who are out here doing God's will, right? You've been doing God's will for a minute. You're psychic. You're proud of it. Um, you know, up until recent, I hadn't really been proud of my gifts. So I didn't want to advertise it loudly, you know? That's one thing I've been working on. My fear of death. I've been working on a fear of death lately. Um, being persecuted for my gifts. Yeah, I've been working on that. It was a past life thing. And I think you guys might, you know, have been doing the same thing as well. Mm -hmm. I hear changing of the guards. So these people are coming to you because intuitively, they don't know it consciously, I think, most of them. They might not know consciously that they are releasing soul contracts. That's what it is. They don't know that they are releasing soul contracts and releasing earthbound spirits from their energy. They don't know. They're going to tell them as a psychic, hey, your mom on the other side, she's actually, she's going to leave soon. She's going to leave your life. She's never going to have to come back. If you want to talk, you know, once in a while, but, but you are establishing cords of attachment again. And these people have evolved past attachment. They've, they've evolved. 
they don't need it to, they don't have attachments anymore at all to anything earthbound why would they want to be a source of someone else's attachment to an earth to the to the earth very deep stuff oh my god Ooh, this is intense. I don't I don't know. Are you guys going to be able to... Look at this, the high priestess. Are you going to be able to handle it? I feel like you guys have already been working on this. Like, you've already... You've been there. You've, you, 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 you're you ready. You're ready, okay? You're going to be meeting other high priestesses soon, okay? This is, like, the real deal. These people are fucking real to the core. Like, they are no joke. They're, they're spiritual shamans and healers and priestesses and mystics, and, like, they understand exactly what you understand, only... You know, maybe they don't have as much knowledge about it, but they're gifted too. Highly gifted, highly empathic, highly successful. They just need, they just need you to disconnect these people from them so that uh, a new spirit team, this is so, I'm going to have so much fun channeling this later, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see if spirit wants me to channel this message on my other channel, but a brand new wave of, of new spirit guides for the whole collective, the whole Starseed Collective. Like, why? Six of Cups. Well, one, because these people have graduated. The ones from their past, they've ascended so much, like, it's not even fair to keep them around, really. It's not. It's not fair to keep them at this frequency, this vibrational level, when they have soared past it. They're in like the seventh, eighth, ninth dimension by now. I, shit, I don't know. Some of them are saints at this point. Like, some of these ancestors are fucking saints. They don't need to be energetically tied and bound to earth angels that, you know, yes, while energetically high vibrational on earth, they still don't want to have to see all the pain and suffering every time we cry right so now there's a new spirit team coming in that is much more vibrationally matched with these clients of yours these new star seeds okay i am definitely reading for somebody who already works with star seeds empaths healers psychics i already yeah jeez you guys are fucking powerhouses oh my god most intense reading i've ever given i hands down pile two and pile three um Seven, seven, of pe seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you already did cut familiar t fam familial ties. Like... If you have an ancestor, say it's your grandfather, and that grandfather also was called on a lot by, you know, ancestors, your, your mom or your sister, right? And they're still living. Well, that grandpa already, because of you, doesn't have the connections to that old timeline anymore because you healed it, you processed it. That trauma you as oh my god you as the light worker you as the light bearer you as the healer the curse breaker you broke the the the, the lineage right the, the curse right so now that ancestor really truly is free they don't have to ever again be pulled into the siblings or the mom's energy anymore i'm not sure why but they they're not they're not they're not required or something it's almost like you you already removed those attachments for that ancestor. Maybe you didn't even know you were doing it, but you were, you did. And so now they get to ascend. They get to go to the timeline that they deserve, that they created for themselves. You're literally sending deceased earth angels to heaven. Oh my God. You know what this reminds me of, that movie Fallen. Fallen. Um, can't think of what his name is, but um, the guy from Vampire Diaries. He was in that movie. 
and he would send the fallen angels home. That's what you're doing. These fallen angels. The fallen angels are really these ancestors and spirit guides that were assisting the collective heal, um, learn their divinity, learn how to um, remove like generational curses and shit. Like, We're graduating as a collective, guys. We're graduating. And the ancestors. We don't need them anymore. And they don't need us anymore. This is really it. Like, this is really, really it. Like, I'm about to cry because, like, my grandpa on the other side. Like, I will, I will never see him again. Which is good, but it's bittersweet, right? And there's a lot of star seeds and, and earth angels that are going to feel a similar pain, which is why they're coming to you very uh, neutral. Because you're not, you don't, you don't really care. You're like, okay, that's sweet, but let me cut these ties. You know, they're coming to you because you're you're a neutral party or participant, right? You will actually do the work. You will actually do it, which is what they need. Because these earth angels, they don't want to let go. Some of them don't. But you will do it for them. What I am hearing, though, is make sure you get consent. Because if, if these high priestesses come to you and they're not aware that somebody from their past is wanting to move on and ascend, they're not aware that they're about to lose their spirit team, their spirit guide that they've loved for years and years to help us, um, help us get where we need to go, make sure you get consent because make, make sure you let them know like hey this is what your grandpa is wanting do you want this right like if you do reiki and you do cord cutting which i'm pile three does that's that's the whole point here this person meaning the the, the client that comes to you, you you need to make them aware that you'll be doing the cord cutting like you are graduating your grandpa or your mom or whatever you're graduating you don't need them anymore I'm going to let them go for you. Like, it's going to be, you'll never see them again. And you're really just removing cords. And you're already good at it. But see, you've been doing it with the intention before of rescuing these earth angels from, from devilish, toxic things. Now, you're doing it with the intention of freeing souls. You see, it's so different. It, it's the intention. The intention's different, which means your life is going to be different, which means your, your livelihood, like you waking up in a day, it's going to feel different because the focus is less on running from narcissists and now going towards, uh, happily running towards love and heaven and beauty. You see, there's a difference here. Very cool. Very cool. Also, another gift that pile three is giving is the gift of shadow and light. You're going to know what that means. I'm hearing... Yeah, gray. You're going to make color in the gray. That's what I'm hearing. All right, if you guys want a personal with me, all the information is in the description. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye, guys.